Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are checking out the second version of the Shortcuts app. So if we go here to the Shortcuts app within Test Flight and go to App Details, you can see we are now running version two and it updated autom automatically via Test Flight. Um, we didn't really have an option, it kind of just updated as we were connected to the internet. So um, for all of you developers that are running Shortcuts, the second version does have quite a few changes. And for all of you guys running the public beta of iOS 12 or you're just interested in the Shortcuts app, you might be interested to see exactly what's new. Now, the first thing I notice when you go to create a shortcut, there's a lot less bugginess within this um, within this tool. So if you are uh, running the shortcuts app, you might notice that as well. Now, if you go down to the apps and then you go to the if this then that app, you might see that it still does not work. Unfortunately, this didn't work in uh, the version one. I almost said beta version one, but um, it is technically the beta version one, but for beta version two, this is unfortunately not working still. But what's really interesting is if you go over to um, the gallery and then go down, there is a new if this then that um, menu option. So if we go down all the way here, you can see that they have added some shortcuts um, via that menu. So obviously, no new UI changes, um, or at least major ones, but there are a ton new menu options here. If you just scroll down, um, there's a ton more than what we were seeing before, and I think that's the major change here. So if you are running this app, there are a ton of new commands for you to check out. There are some under Collaborate Better. I noticed that's a new one. Uh, clipboard was there, but there's a ton more options within the clipboard. So you can go ahead and check that out. But I think a major thing here that I thought was super interesting was shortcuts for music. Apple obviously wants to promote their own music app and make listening to music super easy. So they have a ton, a ton of um, options here for people who want to make some shortcuts for the music app. So basically, this is just a short rundown of what's new. Obviously, there are no major changes, just new shortcuts, which is kind of what I suspected would be in the next version. So if you are interested in this app, you do have to be a developer. But if you go over to the Tech Review iOS 12 forum, which I'll have linked below, I will give all of you guys some uh, basically screenshots of what's new and basically um, some of the more detailed specific of what's new and all of the processes that you can go through within these shortcuts. So go over there. I will have some more information there. I can't go and do a full kind of tutorial or run through on YouTube as that would be quite long, but I'll share with you some of my favorites. And also speaking of favorites, I'll have some of my favorites coming up tomorrow in a dedicated video of the ones that I've been using so far. Obviously, I, I'll have a few more to pick from and obviously be adding with this update, but just the initial few that I've been using for the past couple days, which have been super helpful. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Get subscribed if you wanna see more content around iOS 12 and the Shortcuts app, and hopefully we'll be catching you in the next video. Peace out.